Elon Musk is gearing up to bring Starlink's direct to cell service to Ukraine. Starlink has teamed up with Keystar, Ukraine's largest telecom operator, to deliver uninterrupted satellite powered mobile connectivity to consumers. The service is expected to go live by the fourth quarter of 2025. Starting with basic mobile connectivity and voice and data services will follow soon after. But this isn't Starlink's first foray into Ukraine. Back in 2022, during the Russian invasion, Ukrainian forces relied on Starlink to stay connected and maintain critical communications. Now, this new partnership aims to take connectivity in Ukraine to the next level. Russian President Vladimir Putin has directed his government and the country's largest bank, Sabre Bank, to strengthen cooperation with China in artificial intelligence. This move comes just weeks after Putin announced plans to team up with the BRICS nations and other non-Western countries to develop AI. But what's the goal? To challenge US dominance in what's considered one of the most critical technologies of the 21st century. However, Russia has some catching up to do. According to the UK-based Torches Media, Russia ranks 31st out of 83 countries in AI implementation, innovation and investment, lagging far behind the United States, China and India. Greece is taking steps to help parents manage the digital lives of children. The government is developing a wallet app to protect kids under 15 from the risks of excessive and inappropriate internet use. Expected to launch in March, the app gives parents better control over their kids' online activities. A survey by Greek research organization KMOP reveals that 76% children aged 9 to 12 access the internet via personal devices. Alarmingly, over 22% admitted to encountering inappropriate content online. This survey also highlights a lack of awareness among kids about basic safety tools like block and report buttons, highlighting the need for such an initiative. In Korea, researchers at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology have come up with a groundbreaking method to treat cancer. This innovative approach reprograms cancer cells back into healthy ones, unlike traditional methods that try to destroy cancerous cells using chemotherapy or radiation. The revolutionary method uses a digital twin model that is a virtual replica of an infected cell. Through extensive studies and animal trials, researchers successfully reversed colon cancer cells into normal cells. Unlike traditional therapies that can cause severe side effects like hair loss, fatigue or even cancer recurrence, the new approach targets the root cause of cancer. While still in its experimental phase, researchers believe the technology could eventually work for other types of cancers as well. India's Income Tax Department has denied claims of using data from the Digiyatra app to track tax evaders. The allegation suggested that passenger data collected via the app was being used to identify frequent flyers whose spending does not align with their declared income. For those unfamiliar, the Digiyatra app offers passengers a seamless paperless airport experience by using facial recognition technology for check-ins and boarding. However, Digiyatra CEO Suresh Kharagbhavi has dismissed these reports as baseless, stating that the app's purpose is solely to enhance passenger convenience, not for tax surveillance. <music>